For me, the best thing about rugby is just the opportunities it's, it's given me. It's certainly, when I started off playing, it was just it was just great to be able to, something to do with your, with your mates, something to be able to play every day, whether that's just school rugby, whether that's a bit more serious. It's, you know, it's, it always gives, it's gives the opportunity to interact with all sorts of different people. And I've been very lucky to turn it into a career, and not just that, but a career that's enabled me to sort of travel the world and, and live and play in these different countries. and create some great some great friends and some great memories and yeah very very fortunate there's not many jobs that certainly would let you do that I got caught into that that first squad wasn't really expecting to be involved just thought just maybe there to make up the numbers and, and train a little bit but yeah got on the bench for that first game and it was a brilliant experience against South Africa at the Millennium Stadium is not much better way to do it, to make your debut and spin you go up against yeah, Matt Phil and both of the first first up it was a great challenge and uh, yeah really really enjoyed it to get the call to, uh, to be going to the World Cup was brilliant. It was a really good adventure for us. We, we played some good rugby and unfortunately didn't, didn't make it all the way to the final. But I think beforehand, if someone said to you, OK, you get to the semi-final, everyone would say, oh, brilliant, we'll take that. But then once you get there and then you're playing and such a tight game of like that sort of overriding feeling for a long time after the World Cup was disappointing. It took a long time to, to get over that. I think now you look back and you think, ah, oh, you can be proud. We did, we did do well, but as players, it'll always I know will always be that, you know, nagging what if, if something, if I'd done something different in that game or if we just, a couple of things have just gone differently then we did in the final. A lot was made of the England-Wales game. We didn't play particularly well for all the game. You'd probably say England was a better team, but the character of the boys to come back at the end and win that game was massive and it was, the feeling after that was, was really good and unfortunately we didn't then carry that momentum forward. Again, you just look back with the regrets of what, what you could have done, and, and that's the frustrating thing. You only get one shot at it, and whether I'll be around in, in three years' time for the World Cup, I, I don't know. But it's always so hard when you put in so many months and so many years of work beforehand, and then it's one. It comes down to one game. And I think, you know, ultimately South Africa were the better team because they took their chances and, and they sort of controlled the emotions, if you like, in, in that, that game. Part of the reason of coming back to the UK was to be able to make it a bit easier to keep playing for, for Wales and um, you know I'm getting one of the older ones now but I want to you know keep going as long as I can and again I think we've got a good team this year we can get through this autumn and you know look look to build into Six Nations and, and yeah hopefully get another Six Nations championship there.